Noobcast. Greetings, fellow noobs. Welcome to another Noobcast. Oh my goodness, it's Telegram Alter again. What in the world? Who's running this show? Oh wait, it's me. Haha, <laughs> we got Thrill and Hemogoblin. I love Hemogoblin's name. Love it, love it, love it. It is, of course, a PvP because that's all Thrill sends me. But it's all good, baby. <laughs> um, I love PvPs. I love low-level PvPs because there's room to breathe. I am. I watch. I, I watch pretty much every GSL match for the most part, and really love it. And I love high-level PvPs, but I literally hold my breath while they're fighting, especially on Tall Dream Altar, where it's like usually 4-gate versus 4-gate. I literally, when the battle starts, I find myself holding my breath because it's such a tight matchup. It's such a... Uh, there is literally zero uh, margin for error. You must be perfect in your macro. You must be perfect in your building placement. You must be perfect in uh, your micro especially and you have to know exactly when you know your build order has got to be 100 spot on so when we come down to the gold level and we got a pvp on tile dream altar even if they both try to four gate it's just like you can just exhale a little bit you know it's like okay all right we're gonna see what happens here i don't have to have a heart attack it can still be exciting and fun i've seen so many really good PVPs uh, in lower leagues, uh, even on this map, um, just because, you know, where they come down to like the very last unit, it's like a stalker, and there's one stalker killing the other stalker, and that's the end, and everybody's probes are dead. It just, this matchup is, is exciting for me, I like it a lot. And it looks like uh, Thrill is slightly ahead on his build order. And I mean slightly, it's like three seconds. Bam. Two, three, four seconds ahead on his build order. Uh, but it looks like Red... Uh, yep, doing the same thing. Getting that Zealot out after the first gateway is done. The Cyber Core is down. One gas each. It looks like we are in Four Gate City, baby. Here's the probe in. Wants to uh, circle around, try and plant a pylon somewhere. He's going to chase that bad boy. But it doesn't look like he's going to be successful. The probe will escape. And Hebo Goblin getting a second zealot. Or no, that's the first zealot. Never mind. Getting a sentry. Interesting. Sentry first and Thrill getting the stalker. This, seriously, if this was a higher level game, that would be the difference in the game if it was a four gate. But Thrill is not four gating. He wants to stop the four gate, but he himself is not. Neither is Hemogoblin. Holy crap, both getting a second gas. It looks like they're both going to do some kind of two or three gate robo build. Look at that. Real little behind on the second gateway. Oh, no, wait. Or is that his third? Oh, okay. He's got a second and third. Oh, I see. Sorry. Why is Thrill apologizing? Must have paused or something. Oh, it is four gates. Four gates is modified four gate with two gas. Also four gate over here. Modified four gate with two gas. So it's four gate. They're both doing defensive four gates. Defensive four gate, you get your second gas so that after your second round of warp ins, you're not gasless and you can actually warp in a third round. And here goes Thrill. Um. Another sentry in for Hemo Goblin. Could work out very well in his advantage, in his favor. Pylon, uh oh. Uh oh, Hemo Goblin, uh oh. Look out, Thrill. Oh, he's got his pylon over here. Oh no, look out, here they come. Does he see? Does he see? He doesn't see them. 
This is more stalkers than this group of units can handle. Focus the sentries. Oh, nice. Very nice force fields. Hemogoblin. That was baller, man. Love those force fields. Completely walling off these units, forcing them to retreat. But look, here's a pylon in Thrill's base. But Hemogoblin's not going to be able to use that because he's going to have to protect his own units. He's not going to be able to warp in. He's got too many units in his base. So uh, he's going to be in trouble if he tries to warp something. And maybe one Zealot just to uh, distract Thrill is a possibility. Kill that sentry, son. Uh, not supply block yet is Hemogoblin. He should actually be dropping more pylons over here with that probe. Now Hemogoblin actually has the unit advantage here. And Thrill is going to have to get out of dodge if he wants to stay alive. He's got Stalkers over here, but he's got to get a closer pylon, A, and and, and Hemogoblin not warping in over here. He's, he's got enough for a Guardian Shield. He should either use it or force field in those Stalkers. There's the Guardian Shield, and that's going to be you. Oh, but the Stalker is dead, but... Hemo Goblin definitely has the advantage here. He can pull back. If he's got a warp in, he should warp in over here right now. No! Bad warp in. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, Thrill not using his Chrono Boost at all. And Hemo Goblin, if he gets these guys ready then he should definitely warp in over here. He's still not warping in over here! Hemogoblin, man, you got this. You got this, bro. You're warping in too many units over here. You should have, like, two zealots. Two. Two zealots, and look, you got such a huge advantage here. Why are you running away? You got more... You got two more, two extra stalkers. Zealot getting warped in. Zealots getting warped in. See, two of these zealots should be warped in right here. Look at, there's nothing. You would just wreck him. Come on, Hemogoblin! And look at this. In the meantime, Thrill throwing down an expansion. Keeping the pressure on. Keeping Thrill. Keeping Hemogoblin in his base. Uh, oh, oh, oh! Oh, there's the two zealots! Is it too little, too late? Wow! Hemogoblin loses the cyber core. Yeah, that's what it's called. And he has a little bit better concave here. So he and he's is he focusing down units? Is he focusing down units? I'm trying to get out of there. Come on! Send these dudes in! Come on, dude! Thrill backing out. Get him in there. Get him in there, son. Oh, no. Too late. Stalkers warp in. Man, too little too late, bro. Hemogoblin, you had those guys. You had all those probes dead to right. You would have killed every single one of those probes, bro. Every single one of those probes. All you had to do was A, move those suckers in there. And you would have totally owned. Cybercore finished. Do not warp in over here. Whatever you do. He still doesn't know about your pylon though. So you could still warp in some zealots. But Thrill taking charge. He's got his expansion up. Nothing that Hemogoblin's going to be able to do about that. He's going to go over here and kill this pylon though to keep any further aggression from happening in his base. Always a good idea. But Thrill does not know about either of these pylons. What I would do if I'm Hemogoblin, he has to move now because there's no way he needs to engage at the front, draw the army out, and get some zealots in there. Uh, because now that... Uh, it's too late now, actually. Immortal's out. Thrill's got this. It is Ponage, baby. It's called a Ponage. This game... It's not over, but it's basically over. 
because Thrill's uh, expansion is already up and running. He's got a 10 food lead. Supply lead, I'm sorry. Those of you who are sensitive about the terminology. And more zealots being warped in for Thrill. Always good. Zealots are really good PvP. If you're going to go head to head, always a good idea to use them. No gas over here for Thrill. He's got plenty of dudes. Oh, he's only got two over here. Interesting. Sure, it's just a slight oversight. Next is finally finishing over here for Hemo Goblin. But if we check it out, look at the units tab. Thrill has so many more probes. Sorry for that. What? Air armor, is that an accident? Is that an accident? Where's... Why is he getting air armor? Is he planning on going... I think that was an accident. There's no Stargate. The Great Equalizer, the Great Equalizer, Hemogoblin going for the DTs and getting charge. I like that. Um, I would love if Thrill went for a Stargate. That would be fun. Oh, 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 there's the DT warp in. There is no detection. There are no observers out here. If he bypasses the units, which he is doing, if he goes right in and kills this, and I don't mean kill the pylon, kill the robo. Kill it. Kill it. This will be GG. Guaranteed. Game over. Thrill's going to lose this game after being so far ahead. There's nothing he can do. Absolutely nothing he can do. If he gets his forge up and gets, builds some cannons, he'll have a chance Otherwise, this is dead. He's going to have to go all in his opponent. Uh, food is identical now. These DTs will completely clean up this base. Uh, if the Forge finishes, he's just going to have to be really good with his micro. Don't chase the units out. Kill all things. DTs don't work. Probes hiding back here. Gonna build another base, and here comes the. Oh, watch out! No, oh, no! Back off! Any upgrades? No, because he didn't have a forge. Um, Hemo Goblin's plus one, man. Um, might want to bring a couple of these DTs back to fight because right now, oh, this is such a bad position for Hemo Goblin to engage in. It's so not good. So. Oh no! Thrill's got DTs now too! I didn't even notice! And there's no detection for Hemogoblin. He's got. Hemogoblin has cannons! Oh, Thrill fighting fire with fire, but his are in the base and he just crushes. Crushes Thrill's. Uh, Hemogoblin's army. And. But here's. Hemogoblin's got DTs here too. It's basically a slaughter fest. Who's gonna kill stuff faster? This Nexus is dead. Probe's trying to take out the rocks. This uh, DT's just working on these. Uh... Oh my goodness. Lots of fun. Can't make any more DT's. Gonna make some cannons over here. Good idea. And then put the uh, immortals, kill the cannons. Not a bad idea. Probably wanna kill that immortal though. Oh man, this is it. This is it for Thrill's army. He's got nothing left. Where are those DTs? They're down here. Now he just needs to park. All he needs to do is park next to his cannons. Get out of there! No! Get! Go by your cannons! Get by your cannon! 
I don't, I'm not. I don't know why I'm uh, rooting for Hemogoblin. <laughs> I feel like I'm rooting for Hemogoblin. I just love this close game. This is exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> so much fun. Oh my goodness, thrill. Oh, not enough money for a Nexus. Oh man, nice game, guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hemogoblin does take the game. Good on you, Thrill, for for sending in a game where you lose, dude. I thought for sure you had this until the DTs came, and then I thought you were dead as dead could be, and then you had your own DTs, and that was so awesome. Good job, guys. Fun game. Exciting to watch. This is exactly what I'm looking for. If you've got a game to send in, noobcast at gmail.com. Don't hesitate. I cannot maintain...